Hey guys, welcome back. AMD just launched the Behemoth 3990X earlier today, and boy is that thing impressive. I just want to put my two cents in as to why this is so important for AMD. There's a lot of memes already floating around saying that since there is no competition in the high end, AMD decided to compete against themselves, which I gotta admit are pretty funny. I do however think it's actually a strategic move on AMD's part. Intel has absolutely nothing to compete against AMD. Nothing comes even close. Reviewers are basically having to compare Xeon grade processors to have some sort of comparison at all. Since Intel has nothing that even matches the 3970X, let alone the 3990X that just launched right now. So why would AMD release something that's pretty darn close to their epic server lineup? Surely they know this. They wouldn't risk cannibalizing their epic sales without having some sort of plan. The Epix 7742 has the same amount of cores, more PCIe lanes, 8 channel memory, but lower clocks than the 3990X. They're getting pretty darn close to each other. The only reason I can think of for AMD doing this is to gain some mind share. So as an example, everyone knows, well that's a generalization but most people that are into tech know that Nvidia currently has the fastest single die gaming GPU. It's just a thing that people associate NVIDIA with. The same goes for Intel. Everyone knows Intel, even as of now, has the fastest CPUs for gaming. Granted, it's by such a small margin nowadays that they are barely holding on to that with all their might, but they are known for that nonetheless. So, what AMD is trying to do here, in my opinion, is to kick Intel as much as possible by embarrassing them over and over again to the point where AMD is thought of as the premium product. What's actually really interesting is that I see this happening already. It's been a slow build up but I don't know how often you guys go down to the comment sections on CPU videos as of late but there has been a very drastic change in the meme slash troll content down there. A lot of people are trolling Intel CPUs as of late calling them space heaters and whatnot which is what used to happen to AMD not too long ago. So yeah, AMD is going to kick Intel around as long as they can by breaking all of these records and thus increasing that much wanted mindshare. Now that you guys know my opinions as to why they are going ham releasing all of these heavy hitters while having absolutely nobody to compete against but themselves, we can take a quick look at the CPU itself. I obviously don't have the means to get a $4,000 plus CPU nor do I have any workload that would even remotely get close to utilizing that much processing power, but we can go over it quickly nonetheless. Then we'll take a quick look at the 10990XE Toasty Boy Intel announced a little while back. So the 3990X has a whopping 64 cores. That's 8 CCDs with 8 cores each. Basically 8, eight core chiplets. That just sounds insane even saying that out loud. 128 threads, 88 PCIe Gen 4 lanes, 288 megabytes of total cache, quad channel memory, a base clock of 2.9 gigahertz with a max boost of 4.3 gigahertz. All this with a TDP of 280 watts, which will likely not stay at 280 watts for very long, especially if boosting. You're also going to need a TRX40 motherboard to be able to use this monster of a CPU. This thing is basically crushing all multi-core records across the board, to absolutely nobody's surprise. Now let's take a look at that recently announced 10990XE from Intel that is rumored to have 22 cores and 44 threads. So just by looking at the cores and the threads, we can see that the 3990X has more cores than the 10990XE um, has threads, which is just crazy. Not only that, the TDP is rumored to be 380 watts on Intel's 22 core CPU. Now supposedly this thing is going to boost all 22 cores to 5 gigahertz. Now I personally think that's all a bunch of bull, but let's assume it does. This thing is going to draw way more than 380 watts if that's the case. This reminds me of the 9900K drama with its TDP. 95 watt TDP, 
but the CPU would easily draw over 180 watts when overclocked. We've already seen some leaks on the 10900K saying that that thing draws northwards of 300 watts. If that's anything to go by, I would not be surprised to see if the 10990XE draws over 600 watts, which is just mind boggling as to how far behind Intel currently is. Well, that's basically my two cents on this crazy launch. Let me know your thoughts on this crazy CPU down below. Now we just have to wait and see what AMD has in store for the GPU market. Hopefully all of this profit from their CPU sector starts to supercharge their GPU division. That way we can see some truly beasty GPUs from AMD. Thanks for watching guys. Peace.